What is up? I hope you're doing fan freaking fantastic. It's the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. As always, in the last video, we went through Hyrule Field and found golden bugs, used our explosives on some rocks, traveled around a little bit, did some splorin. In this video, I think we're going to do more of the same, only as a wolf, and hopefully rid this area of the twilight. Let's get started. So as always, we have some nasty bats, and these things are uh, no big deal, as long as you can actually hit them. Isn't that a whole thing? But uh, I don't think we'll concern ourselves too much. Looks like we have some stinky stuff here we need to investigate. So, will we forget the youth scent and learn a brand new spell? Smell, not spell. Well, uh, yeah, since that last scent doesn't seem to be any of any use anymore, I think we'll do just that. And with that, we learned the scent of Ilya. You smell the girl, don't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Well, good. It's another clue then. But this scent could be quite old. I wonder if she's still all right. Mmm, that's Midnight for you. Always being the doubter. And uh, let's see if we can't dig up some goodies while we're here in our lovely wolf senses. Eh, some rupees. I'll take it. But uh, yeah, so we found Ilya's scent. So that's a great lead to go off of right there. I think we'll follow this baby and see where it leads us. And uh, hopefully don't run into any baddies along the way, since when we're using our senses to track different scents and whatnot, we are heavily limited in our vision. Hey, haven't we seen this castle before? So, we finally made it back here. Well, only a little farther, so hang in there. Or so I'd like to say, but the going's a lot harder from here on out. All right then, let's get started. I agree, Minna. Let's get started. So, uh, looks like this scent may just lead us back to Hyrule Castle, or at least close to it. And uh, we'll see if there's any funky shit going on. Of course, we were at Twilight, or we were at Hyrule Castle when it was already covered in Twilight. And, uh, I mean, that just ain't no good. We're going to see if we can rid this part of the land of Twilight and maybe uh, make things just a little bit better. Make it so there's no more horn birds flying around. No more uh, Twilight monsters everywhere. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me, I'd say. And uh, then maybe later on we can explore this area of Hyrule Field that we're just completely running through blindly. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be a whole great time. Oh, I can hear the enemies everywhere. They're just waiting to pop out. Oh, these got fire arrows. That's no good. We gotta take these guys out. Can't be getting shot with fire arrows up my wolf butt. No, no. Hmm, looks like Ilya did go into Hyrule Castle after all, or at least the castle town around the castle. So it looks like we have a bunch of different spirits in here to talk to. Hey, so did you hear? 
They say that a Zora child collapsed near here. I thought Zoras were typically found up north, right? I wonder why one came down here. Well, I heard that he was taken to the bar on the other side of the southern road. The bar? You mean Telma's place? Hmm. She's got it rough. Is that not a good place to go? Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep an eye out for a nice Zora child at Telma's bar. Maybe we can get grab a drink while we're there. And this place is just hustling, bustling. They don't even know that there's a whole scourge of twilight on the loose right under their noses. But right under our noses, I imagine we're getting pretty close to tracking down Ilya with this scent. And it kind of goes in here. What's this place? The medical clinic. So it appears that either she was in trouble or she was helping someone else in trouble. Wait a minute. Bones. Bones? Is that Bones? Link's wolf instincts kick in. Well, we can't actually make it in there as a wolf. So I guess we'll just have to keep following the scent. Luckily, she did go out. So she didn't stay in there. Oh, what do these guys got to say? I heard a boy passed out. When? Where? I don't know. As always, the townspeople are very helpful. <laughs> and, oh, hey, a Goron. No pushing. If you want hot spring water, form one line. One line. With, oh, there's a whole line of people right here. We can't get through. Before the water supply runs out, we must stock up on water, even hot spring water. O oh, spirits of Laneru, please deliver merciful rain to Lake Hylia in the west. <laughs> I have a limited supply of hot spring water. The race goes to the swift, as it's as it is said. Is that what it said, huh? Is that, some, is that on the Goron lore? Okay, we got Telma's bar here. Looks like it's open, luckily enough. And the door's even cracked open. And this seems to be where Ilya went to, so lucky us. There she is. This boy. Can you save him? All right, little lady. Try to settle down, okay? I just now sent for the doctor. But this is strange. A child of the Zoras. I wonder if this is at all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about in the back. Aw, oh, what an emotional reunion. Yes, a girl and her wolf. Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. Yeah, Minda's pretty bummed out about that, and so am I. But there's a lot of soldiers back here. We've had a ton of complaints from citizens who can't send prayers to the spring of Lake Ilya. Go there. The location is the one I showed you on the map earlier. Got it? What? Study it and know it well. <laughs> I think that's what we'll do. I've received orders from above to investigate why we can't go to the spirit spring in Lake Hylia. Got that? Um, oh, one second here. Okay, let's see. Um, the spring in Lake Hylia. So, looks like this flag over here is going to mark mark where we need to go for the spring. It's quite a ways away. I told you, the citizens are upset that they can't pray to the spring of the spirit of Lake Hylia. The location is written right there on the map on the table. Have you figured it out yet? No, no, oh, no, 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 Okay, well. These guys may be too chicken to go check out the, uh, the spring, but I sure as hell ain't. So, it looks like that's gonna be our key to saving this land from Twilight. So, maybe we can turn back into a human and hopefully reunite with Ilya once again. Let's see if we can't make it there right now. And where are we going here? So we're going to have to go out to the west. 
and uh, just try to get past the bridge and to the spring. Look at this dude. <laughs> Soon I shall make a killing off this town. He's just standing out there plotting his business. That's what I like to see in, in Hyrule Castle Town. Okay, well, now we have an honest to God objective. We gotta go find the Spirit Spring. Which probably means lots of walking. <laughs> lots of trudging around as a wolf. I'm sure it's gonna be a great ass time. And this looks like a little section off here that doesn't actually lead anywhere, but we might as well check it out. There's plenty of baddies. Plenty of baddies we can ram our head right into. And it looks like that's the bridge that we need to get across, so... At least we can see that from here. I think I'll start making my way over there. Okay, so here we are in the sort of western area of Hyrule Field. Plenty of guys with fire arrows and even some more rocks that we would be able to bomb had we not been transformed into a wolf. How sad. As everyone knows, wolves can't use bombs. You need thumbs to use bombs. Otherwise, you're just, I mean, you're just, you're just doing it wrong. Lake Kylia's newest hangout, Fire and Fobby's Watertop Land of, Fascin of Fantastication. Head right for the Flight by Fowl main attraction. Oh boy. Look at this guy. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if that's a dog free zone, but I'm, I'm betting it's a dog free zone. Maybe that'll be a cool thing we can check out uh, after we've done a little more work in this area. And there's the bridge. The Great Bridge of Hylia, to be exact. Okay, well, I'm sure this is going to be nothing but a simple thing. And look at all this stuff that we can't get yet. There's a big old, there's another owl statue up there. Who knows what the hell those are for. And a treasure chest that there's no way we're going to be able to reach as a wolf. A rock we can probably bomb. They're just teasing us right now. Just nothing but a tease this game. What the hell is this? I saw some black stuff on the bridge. Hey, do you smell anything funny? Oh no, we're trapped. Get out of here. Oh boy, I knew those fire arrow guys were nothing but trouble. Well, there's fire on both sides. Minna, Minna, can you not, can you not yawn? We're kind of in like imminent peril here. We got fire on both sides, but luckily they didn't move. They didn't blow up these boxes or anything. So I think we're just going to have to, I think we're just going to have to jump it. Phew, that was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? So this is Lake Hylia, but there's so little water. It sounds like the Spirit Spring should be somewhere around here as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. Hmm, yes, Minna, I agree. And let's see what these spirits are doing down here. Oh, hey, Zora spirits. That's interesting. 
We've had absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it. Something must have happened at the water's source in our home Zora's domain. Yet, how are we supposed to return to the upstream to our home? With the way things are now, we can't even walk back there. Hmm. The drop in water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Hylia will dry up. It's a race against time. Hmm, so it seems like Lake Hylia ain't, ain't doing so hot and probably got something to do with all this nasty twilight. Just blame everything on the twilight. That's my motto. And look at this joker. Hmm, I'm too old for this. Fire and Falby's Watertop Land of Fantastication. It's our grand reopening at our new Lake Bottom location. We. Hmm. Yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Did the Zors who live upriver do something? Or is it a curse from that spirit that floats around up there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. Was that a customer? Yikes! It's a monster! Well, that's, uh, that's the guy for you. So this dude just freaked the fuck out because he saw this one monster way off in the distance. Oh no, he's got the hot grass. It's always the hawk grass. That's always what pushes the enemies over the edge. Okay. So he used the hot grass to call a, a, a horn bird on steroids. And now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to show him the business. But I got this. I got this. I I, I totally got this. Make no mistake. Okay. Maybe maybe I don't got this as much as I would have uh, hoped. But I'm ready. I'm ready. He's gonna come in close and I'm gonna hit him with a Midna jump. Okay, never mind. There we go, there we go. Jump on his chest and bite him. Man, these horn birds really do fly slowly, don't they? But that's at least to our advantage. What, are you running out of fire arrows? You don't want to shoot me anymore, you puss? You puss? Coming for another go-around. Aw, oh, did you lose your horn, bird? Get up. Stay down. Hey, stop it. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get you all the way to the top of the lake's water source? Well, in a bizarre twist of events, we're uh, doing this now. So we're just going to fly this horny, horny bird through the uh, the caverns and see if we can get up to the source of the of the lake. Sounds uh, totally plausible. Yeah, it's the, that was the plan from the beginning, don't you know? I mean, that's that was the whole thing. That was in that was in the. Uh, 
the plans right from the start. Find a monster who uses hawk grass to call on a horn bird so we can take the horn bird and uh, fly it all the way to the top of the cliffs. That's exactly, that's exactly the thing. So, um, basically controlling this thing is pretty basic. Uh, you get a dash, which you'll want to use often. And we're just going to be dodging some various obstacles until we make it to the top. It's really no big deal. And uh, luckily, if we keep using dashes. We should be able to get there in no time. Oop. And you want to make sure not to bump into anything because that would be pretty bad. Considering this thing is just carrying us by its little feet. But looks like we're already there anyway, so no big deal. Ah, uh, we're already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of the Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up! Jesus Christ, Minda. You should have brought your thermal underwear. What's up, Afro? I mean, what are those Zoras up to anyway? The rivers totally run dry, right? I can't work like this. Cold. Ah, uh, I miss my fur coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's bitching about it being all cold and stuff. You know, maybe if you would just turn into a wolf and get a luxurious fur coat, or yeah, fur coat. That's that's the German version. Uh, let's let's try to get some money here to uh, just. Just make this whole trip worthwhile. Where is this anyway? Zora's River to Lake Hylia. Ride down river the fun way. Boat rental cabin. Rental fee 20 rupees. Oh boy. So we're still not at the source of the, uh, the lake yet. And it looks like we can't even get across here unless the water's risen to uh, get this bridge up. So... Uh, sorry, Minda. I know you're cold, but looks like we're going in the ice. I'm betting that all this ice just means that the lake or the source of the lake was probably just frozen. over. So, I mean, that seems pretty obvious to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought it would be all frozen? This is Zora Village, right? Why don't I see any then? Well, anyway, let's check things out. Let's find the Zoras. Okay, we're off to find the Zoras. Is this a Zora? Nope, that tastes like bat. Betting this guy tastes like bat too. But I can't rest until I find out. I think we can get up from here. Let's go. Let's go. So Minda is going to be able to help us get up top the icy Zora's domain waterfall, which is now not even a waterfall. And oop. Ah, oh, fucking hell. It seems like always on my first attempt. <sighs> attempt number three. Getting up this thing is actually pretty annoying because you just slip and slide off of it. And sometimes like it really just feels like there's not much you can do about it. But that's just me. Anyway, finally made it up through that amazingly fun series of Minda jumps. Let's, uh, let's check this out here. Not much over here. 
This area is blocked off by a big old rock. So I guess we'll just uh, see if we can find those Zoras. They gotta be around here somewhere after all. This is Zora's domain. Oh hey, they all turned into shadow beasts. Well, you know the drill by now. Take out the loner. And then go get his cronies. Don't hit me. All right, come here, you, you biatch. Ah, hell. Okay. Let's try it again this time. Now let's try not to hit the wall when we do it. portal is opened here too. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Well, Minna, we got to find the Zoras first. We can't be taking no vacation. What you want? Whoa. Hey, down. Look below the ice. <gasps> Whoa. Could it be? Those, those are the Zoras. Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? We can't just leave them all like this. I think all we need to do is thaw them out. It does us no good to just stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. That's Midna for you. Always wanting to go on vacay. Well, a vacation does seem pretty nice at the moment. And you know, if we need something to thaw out the Zoras, I can't think of any better place to brainstorm than good old Death Mountain. This thing has been up here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. Well, I think we can uh, warp this little puppy back to Zora's domain and uh, just cook us up a batch of Zora, f Zora soup. Yeah, Zora soup. That's good. Let's do it. Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? All right, the Zoras are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow like normal. Can we finally meet up to the spirit of Lake Hylia? Hold your horses there, Minna. So they're all just coughing.
Uh, yeah, they're all in great shape. Whoops, they want to talk to me in there. So if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like a Zora, huh? So, what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you should meet the prince as a wolf, huh? So, no hurry to return to the world of light then, huh? Oh, that's Midna for you, always being the dick. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we got a lot done in this video, we saved the Zora's domain from an icy fate. We met a ghost and we even found Ilya, even though Ilya didn't find us. So I think in the next video, we, uh, we got plenty to do. We got to go save Rallis. We got to save the Laneru province from Twilight. We got to meet up with Ilya, all sorts of good shit. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope to see you again. I really do. And until then, stay frosty.